Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Bulldog Soccer. We're joined by head coach Greg Henson. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Well, obviously, uh, you were at home the first weekend of the season, as we talked to you last week, and now this week uh, on the road and got a couple big wins to move to 3-1 and one on the year. Yeah, it was uh, you know different for us. It was the first time all season that we actually got out and traveled. So even during our, our scrimmage and exhibition season, we were at home. So uh, we knew it would be a little bit different feeling for us. But uh, you know our goal going into the weekend was to come home with two two victories, and and uh, we were successful in doing that. Obviously, you had some experience uh, on the road back in the spring, uh, kind of unlike football. But how have you handled some of those uh, precautions that you have to take on the road? Yeah, it's still a little bit different. You know, we spend, uh, you know, we eat most of our meals in the hotel in a conference room and, and to-go meals and things of that nature. So we don't spend a lot of time, you know, out in the public uh, trying to keep, you know, our players safe and healthy and, and eligible to compete in, in the next contest. So things are a little bit different than, than years past. Um, but it's also a great opportunity for us to get our players together in the same, you know, the same locale and, and do some bonding activities and things of that nature. So it was, uh, I think it was a successful weekend, um, you know, aside from just the score one. As we go to the highlights, uh, we'll start on Friday night, took on Ashland and obviously a, a former GLIAC uh, rival and a team that was uh, very strong in the conference and uh, got off to a great start against them. Yeah, you know, Ashland's always been a tough team and a tough out for us and, and uh, you know, we, we were able to beat them at home last spring. Um, and I think, you know, for our players and even our returning, uh, you know, fifth year seniors uh, this year, it was the first time they'd won at Ashland in their career. So it was a huge game for us, you know, from a regional standpoint. Um, but also just uh, just personally within the rivalry, we wanted to make sure that, you know, in case this is the last time we play Ashland for a while, we wanted to make sure we, uh, we got the last win. So uh, great finish uh, there from Pianago, very technical, uh, clinical finish in the box with an awful great feed from uh, Matty Dickens to get us started. And I think, you know, the first 15 minutes was a little bit chaotic, um, but then we settled in really well uh, to get that first goal and, and things kind of settled down for us from there. Kind of nice over the course of the weekend and uh, really over the last three games to get uh, a lot of different goal scorers. Yeah, and, and we talked about that last week, right? I mean, Izzy had a great breakout game with, with the hat trick last week, but you know we have a lot of lot of players capable of scoring goals. You know, here's Abigail Gilmore cleaning up a scramble in the, in the box, and something that we didn't do well. You know, back to our first game of the year, so I think we're really showing strides and, and growing in different areas. And and we've got a lot of players that can put the ball in the back of the net, um, and it's going to make us very dangerous down the stretch when we start to get all those players firing on all cylinders. How important was that goal uh, just before halftime? Obviously, to make it a two-goal game. Yeah, I think it really kind of took a little bit of the wind out of their sails a little bit. And then, uh, you know, we were able to come out strong in the second half again um, and create some really dangerous opportunities and and uh, and really kind of set the tone for the game. And once we got the third one, this is the one I, we talked about a minute ago. I don't know how that didn't find the back of the net there, but, uh, you know, we were able to keep that relentless pressure on them all game um, and, uh, and really kind of just see the game out after that third goal went in. Obviously, uh, you got the three goals here in the contest, but uh, you had a strong defensive performance as well, uh, pitching a shutout. Yeah, and, and there's Izzy's uh, goal on the game there and a great uh, great finish. And again, Matty Dickens had two assists, which was really well. Um, defensively, I thought we played really well. Again, uh, against Ashland, they're, they're a tough team. They, they possess the ball well. Um, and we really limited the opportunities that, that they had um, and a couple chances that they had. Daria came up huge uh, in, in that for us and, and allowed us to get another shut up. Obviously, uh, you get the win, uh, first win in Ashland uh, since 2015. Any worry of a, a letdown goal maybe into the second contest on Sunday? I think there's always a little bit of that, you know, the, the trap game type of mentality. You, you play a really tough opponent, um, you know, a game that you know that everybody's going to be up for. You get the result that you're looking for. Um, and then you're going to play a tough Walsh team, um, you, you know, that, that we know is going to be good. And, and, and their record doesn't really justify how good they are. Um, and they played really tough on, uh, on Sunday. It's been a long week, and, you know, it's a four-day trip. Uh, we've been in Canton, Ohio for a few days now and, and, and that. So, you know, we were a little bit weary of it. Um, I thought we played a little sluggish out of the gate, um, you know, from the sideline. Didn't really like necessarily the way the way we were playing, um, but we also scored two goals in the first 25 minutes. So um, it's a little bit uh, tough to complain about not winning well enough, right? Um, but there's some things that we could definitely be better at um, as we move forward into the conference season. But overall, you know, five nothing win at Walsh. We'll take it any day of the week. That first goal right there from Emily Mergener, who had a couple goals and an assist here in this game. Yeah, Merge played great and and and. You know, it really took her moments well, you know, and so, um, you know, a great feed from Pia. Um, she gets a gets an assist, I believe, on Pia's goal a little bit later, and this might be it coming up here, um, where Pia just kind of looks up and just chips the goalkeeper from about 20 yards out. So, again, you know, two great goals in back-to-back -back games for Pia Nagel. Um, and uh, but overall, just a, just a quality quality performance, solid performance throughout, the, throughout our team. 
Um, but I don't necessarily think we, you know, we played our best in this match, and that's something that we have to, to look to, to make sure that we do, do better moving forward into the conference season. How important are uh, these two games on the weekend? Obviously uh, non-conference games, but important regional games as you kind of look towards the end of the year. Yeah, it, it's huge, especially for um, you know the regional points, as you mentioned. Also to make sure we get a couple GMAC wins, um, obviously with the three leagues that are in our in our region, the, the GLIAC and uh, and then joined by the GLBC and the GMAC, we need to make sure that we, we represent well and, and playing against their top teams. And, and obviously the, the Fenway result didn't go our way to open the season. So beating Ashland at Ashland, uh, a team that I think is really going to be, be poised to probably win that league, um, was a great result for us. Obviously, uh, they're right there, the, the fourth goal. You'll add one more, uh, finished with a 5 to nothing win. And I know uh, you'll take that on the road, uh, scoring five goals and getting the victory. Yeah, I mean, you, you, it's good to see us putting the ball in the back of the net. Like you mentioned, it's good to see uh, a number of different goal scorers um, getting on the board, um, you know, and you know, eight goals on the weekend and, and shutting out both of our opponents. Uh, you, know, you can't ask for anything better better than that. Um, you know, we'll look to play a little cleaner, a little bit, uh, you know, stay within uh, our, our style, uh, the things, that, the characteristics that we want to have. Uh, I think we can be better, um, but uh, that'll just come as part of the grind of, of the college season and playing two games in, in four days and travel and everything else. Sometimes you got to grind out the wins and take them the way they come. After four games are already here this season, now you start conference play going on the road to Parkside and Purdue Northwest and a, a tough trip here to start GLIAC play this weekend. Yeah, it's always a tough trip to, to go west a little bit in this league and, and uh, we get to go over to, uh, to Parkside first and then we'll come back and hit Purdue Northwest on the way home. So, you know, two, two tough opponents, um, two programs that I think are just getting better and better each year. And, and again, it's two opponents that sometimes uh, are much better much better teams, much better coach teams, and, and organized well than their records sometimes indicate. And so they're 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 teams that sometimes um, can uh, can sneak up on you and, and catch you. So um, we're preparing for two very tough games. Um, last year when we played both of them, you know Parkside it was a tough one nothing win at their place. So um, we're looking forward to the challenge and and hopefully uh, you know our goal is to come home with six points after the to, for the opening conference weekend. I mentioned uh, last week you were at home, but then uh, the rest of the month you're on the road and, and certainly a tough road stretch here. But if, if you get through this, something that could really help your team going down the road. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, we got, you know, we're going to come back. I think we got uh, three more on the road here for five straight. And then we kind of have a, a one and one, one away, one home after that. And then, we, then we're home for five or six games. So it's going to even itself out at the end of the, at the, end of the year. Um, but, uh, but I think being tested on the road, um, and, and facing that adversity um, and some of the, the, the travel adversity we had to get through this weekend um, just makes us stronger and just prepares us for, for what's to come down the, down the line in terms of our schedule. So. Well, Coach, congrats on the uh, weekend and uh, best of luck as you start conference play here on the road this weekend. Thank you. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.